Okay, people. I'm going to show you how to light a charcoal grill. And you don't got much charcoal left. Just a few little chunks in the bag. That's all we got. There's no burning bin around here. You just can't burn outside of a grill. Hmm. Whoops. Yep, yeah, we're not allowed to have burn barrels anymore because two particular assholes, which I won't name, were stupid enough to set their lawns on fire. And because those two assholes did it several times in one day, the fire department proposed a ban on burning altogether. So we really can't burn anything. Well, we're going to have some... We can still light charcoal grills. So that's what I'm doing. Come on, catch. Yeah, the lighter fluid doesn't give you that... And for those of you that didn't get it, you know, doesn't do that. Doesn't give you that rush that gasoline gives, but you got to watch. Sometimes it will. Mm -hmm. Are we having fun? Oh, yeah, we're having fun. But let me tell you, the shirt, I'm covered from head down to your motor oil because the filter on that car is pretty damn close to what they have on the Chevy Cavaliers. You gotta reach up behind the engine. You know, by the time you unscrew it, the oil is already running down the engine on the exhaust pipe. But, 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 but. I gotta thank Tow Racker. Yes, I do. I gotta thank Tow Racker. Because the first thing he told me, he said, get a piece of tin and put it over that flex section of the exhaust. And okay, I didn't really have tin. So the first time I did it, I had a piece of cardboard or a piece of newspaper. And it worked. Worked good. This time I did it, I used an old floor mat for my Cadillac. Nothing like draining oil in style, huh? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just not putting parts away. But what I'm going to do, I had a suggestion from Mr. Kevin Robinson, K. E. Robinson II, Carabin Sony, whatever you want to call him. Asshole, you know, some people call him. I had a suggestion. He did a video on how to cut oil filters open. I said, okay, that's cool. And I'm thinking, I'll do one. There's a charcoal bag. Yeah. And I think he mentioned a couple people, other people mentioned, anybody can cut a new oil filter open. I got this filter right here off my car. Um, where is it? L14610, pure later. Now there is still a little bit of oil in it. The oil that drained out is the oil because it's mounted on the engine like this. Um, well, we got fire, but that's the oil that drained out, just that little bit, but it is, you can feel weight to it, and this old filter has about 4,300 miles worth on it. I don't like to go that long on oil changes, but I was lazy, and uh, I did a lot of highway driving, but that's upcoming. We're going to cut this oil filter open. Shouldn't be much in it. The engine only has about 55,000 miles on it, so it shouldn't be any big deal. We're going to cut that open and um, I can burn this. Hamburgers might, taste, might, uh, hamburgers might taste like plastic. There we go. Yeah, That's how I started charcoal though. So I'm going to take this filter, I'm going to save it. I'm going to put it right here next to my Macintosh LC580. It's kind of clean in house. I got a part of a cluster from an 80 sack, an 
87 Pontiac Parisian. Yeah. This cluster is going to go bye bye. I have a brand new aftermarket uh, GM mirror made by Coolview, part number GM35EL. If anybody wants that. Otherwise, it's going to go to trash. 12 volt, 30 amp transformer. Do that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I got a free scanner, copier. Uh, yeah, printer, scanner, copier. No facts, bastards. I think it works. But I'll tell you. You know you're in Pennsylvania, and you've got a Pennsylvania car that, when you change your oil, help me along. Or somebody help me. I can't think right. You know you're from these states when you change oil and not only do you remove the old oil and filter, but you also remove parts of your vehicle because they've come loose. But we got, you know, exhaust clamps and and uh, heat shields for the catalytic converter. Yeah. That just fell right off. Man, fucking fantastic. Yes, you heard me say it, and it came off that car there, and it is rusting. We've got the grill rolling, the charcoal's almost ready, and I think I'm going to throw some burgers on there. No, yeah, we're going to do that. And you see that, you see that little bird hopping around over there? I don't know if you can see him. He's chirping, you know, husband and wife, they're chirping because, uh, I got a following of birds here. I gotta, I got I gotta feed them too. So, I'm gonna wash this motor oil and uh, everything else off my hands, and I'm gonna feed these little English sparrows. So, it's walking up to me. I don't know if you can see them hop, hop, hopping around, but yeah, they follow me in the yard all day long. And so is that dove. <sighs> Air conditioning. Air conditioning. And I've got myself here some uh, Russian sage, which my neighbor gave me. It's really cool. I just kind of plucked it. It's it's got some root on it. It went into shock, but it's uh, catch everybody later. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna watch some of your videos because I'm horrible at watching them. Yeah. yeah. Here's a project I've been working on. See that? <laughs> you know who that's for. I'll catch you later.